So the buzz these days is that Google is getting closer to pulling out of China. Now, there's nothing official, um, but clearly Google is upset with what they deem to be spying within uh, Google China. And, you know, the rumor is that they're getting closer to, to pulling the plug. You were just in Abu Dhabi, and I know you had some conversations about China, and there seems to be somewhat of a different perspective outside of the United States um, of the mighty Google and, and what it takes to play in China. Yeah, the, the most interesting conversation I had there was with Kai Pu Li, who used to run Google's China operations. And, and his perspective on the Google situation was interesting. He thinks that Google is a really idealistic company, that this spying thing uh, that they're upset about was sort of the straw that broke the camel's back, that it's not really that different from other spying allegations that we've heard about China, even from other companies, but that they just weren't willing to take it anymore. But, but his perspective is different. He really wants to play in the Chinese market. He feels like there are great opportunities there. It's possible to work with the Chinese government and that things are slowly opening up. So yeah, while but Google does, is uh, getting ticked off, he's got more of, an, uh, of a play approach. Does that mean, though, that if you're going to play in China and do business in China, that, that, that you have to put up with that kind of spying? I mean, and let's point out, too, that Google in China is not the massive leader that it is in other parts of the world. It's, you know... It's not a distant number two, but it's certainly behind Baidu. I think some people would argue that if you're going to play on the Internet, no matter where you are in the world, you've got to worry about spying and security. But about China specifically, there was a panel uh, that I got a chance to check out there in Abu Dhabi, and there was a lot of folks, entrepreneurs, who are doing business in China who are talking about how things are opening up. They were saying it used to be that the Chinese government would censor things. Before the digital age, they would take a look at stuff before it went out, say yes or no, this can go out or it can't. Now in the digital age, there are so many people creating content, so many people creating technology that the government can't act as a gatekeeper in that way. They're more of a regulator. You know, yeah. Once it comes out, if they get a chance to look at it, maybe they'll, they'll censor it. Maybe they'll pull it back. Unless you're really well connected or really well known. And then if you are, maybe they'll hold back on censoring you. And, and as that happens, as technology makes it push through China, we're getting more openness. I mean, one of the things that I've observed, and I spent a couple of years in Shanghai, is that you know China's opening up gradually. And, and when, when something like Google comes in and, and threatens to just open everything up in one fell swoop, they get really nervous until they pull back. And so you see this kind of pulling back, and then they open back up a little bit, and then a little bit more, and, and then a little bit more. And so I think that's what we're seeing. Um, and the internet has got to scare the Google out of them. Um, <laughs> and they're trying to figure out a way to control it, and I don't know that they can. And probably they don't, can't figure out a way to do it the right way. And so it seems a little too controlling. I've begun to think, after some of the conversations I've had, that Google will step back uh, in its China presence. It sounds like Larry and Sergey uh, are just really being idealistic about this. You know, maybe history will prove them to be wise uh, in doing that. And I think the Chinese government is taking enough of a black eye from Google over this that uh, it'll probably be hard for Google to do business in China going forward. Well, we'll see. Those, there, there are other folks who will certainly gladly take Google's place, but uh, we'll see what happens. That's TechMe.